Greetings, Preacher Rick with you again today with the message, Known by Your Company. It's so very important that we get that message out to our youth and to uh, those that are just uh, growing in God's grace and knowledge, haven't been on the way very long. It's so very important that we understand uh, that it's that it's very, very, uh, uh, it makes a big impression on us, the people that we're around, and they can really drag us down or drag us through the mud if we're not careful. Uh, but in the book of Third John, a uh, uh, very short book of the Bible, uh, of Third John, it's one chapter long. Actually, in words, it's the shortest book of the Bible when it comes to words, and uh, not in verses, but words. But if you read uh, verse 11, it says, Beloved, follow not that which is evil. So following people uh, is something that, that we tend to do. Uh, we have leaders and followers, and even leaders have other leaders that lead them. So uh, we all are led by other people, and how we act uh, a lot of times comes from how those people have led us. So the apostle was saying here, Beloved, follow not that which is evil. So when we know someone uh, has evil ways about them or sinful ways about them and we keep company with them, and not that we can't go see them or we can't know them or we can't pray for them or we can't invite them to church and so on and so forth, it's not that. It's that if we really become friends with them and we really... Uh, devote a lot of time of our time with them running around with them uh, we will be led the wrong way we have to be real careful uh, about things like that so the apostle was telling the church beloved follow not that which is evil you can't follow uh, people that have evil ways about them uh, you can't uh, uh, go around uh, their evil ways and never be drug drug dragged into anything wrong yourself but that which is good. So we should follow that which is good. And of course, he wasn't speaking of just people here, but if you put this in context, you'll see that he was speaking about people. He said, He that doeth good is of God, uh, but he that doeth evil, evil hath not seen God. So if you go up to verse 9, he, he wrote about a man there. He said, I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephus, uh, who loveth to have the preeminence, he was a church boss. He likes to have all the, he likes to be the leader among them. He said, he receiveth us not. Here the apostle, he wouldn't receive me. He said, wherefore, when I, if I come, I will remember his deeds which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content therewith. Neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. So he he was uh, talking about a church boss here, and he's basically uh, in the next verse saying, don't follow that evil man. Don't follow him in his evil ways. And then if you get down to verse 12, the verse below the, the verse we took uh, for our uh, message today, he said, Demetrius hath good report of all men. So, uh, so he's recommending him and of truth itself. So we see a man he's telling him to stay away from, and we see a man he's telling him that they can be around. Uh, uh, so he's, then if you go back to verse 11, uh, he said, Follow not that which is evil, uh, uh, but he said, But that which is good. So he's basically saying, uh, uh, You're known by the company you keep, uh, uh, and it, you're the company you keep, uh, if you, whoever you follow, that's uh, uh, what you, you will become uh, uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, you know, if you, if you hang around a drunkard all the time and you run with them and you're sitting in the car with them all the time or you sit on a bar stool next to them uh, and you say, Well, I don't drink, well, you can find out uh, that it will lead you down the wrong path uh, I've heard people uh, uh, say they can do this and they can do that but they find out that they can't do this and do that the devil uh, is very powerful and he'll do everything in his power to drag you down uh, uh, he wants uh, uh, to rub, rub you right in the, your face in the mud he wants to dirty your life uh, uh, but if you follow uh, uh, those that would uh, live a cl good clean Christian life uh, uh, thank God and stay away from alcohol and stay away 
from the uh, uh, things that tear down life, uh, uh, those that tell the truth and don't lie, uh, uh, those that live uh, tr- do their best to live a pure uh, uh, Christian life according to the Word of God, uh, uh, you'll find that it'll lead you to the foot of the altar and it'll help you uh, uh, to grow in God's grace and knowledge. It'll help you. Uh, uh, so it's very important who the friends are that you keep. Some of you young Christians need to realize this, uh, uh, that the apostle was telling them, uh, uh, the apostle John, when he wrote this letter, he was telling them not to follow those that have evil ways about them, uh, uh, that not to follow those that do wrong, uh, the, but those that do good. Uh, uh, and we must uh, do the same. We must learn uh, uh, that if we want to be a Christian, uh, uh, we must walk uh, uh, with other Christians. That does not to say we uh, uh, don't go out in the world and bid them to come to church. Uh, even Jesus went to sinners' homes, uh, uh, but uh, uh, were the sinners his disciples? No. Uh, uh, the follower, his followers, uh, uh, were. he was leading them to the foot of the cross, and the disciples uh, uh, saw uh, uh, him as uh, the Son of God. They saw uh, his good works, and he led them into good works. Uh, <coughs> thank God. Uh, and there, there's your example right there, uh, and we need to realize this. Uh, and those that follow uh, uh, s- sinful uh, people, those that follow them will be sinners. Those that follow Christians uh, have a better chance of being Christians. And uh, I guarantee you, uh, uh, if you uh, run around with thieves, you'll be known as a thief. That's just the way it is. Uh, uh, you could uh, be in a car with a three or four guys that stop and steal all the time, and you say, well, I won't steal. Uh, But you run around with them every night and see if you're not known in the public as a thief. Uh, uh, Why? Because uh, uh, you're with a bunch of thieves all the time, so you'll be known uh, uh, by the company that you keep. And that's basically what John was saying, not to follow those which do wrong, uh, but follow those which do good, thank God. And we need to realize this today. Uh, uh, That's why it's so important that Christians go to church and 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 uh, uh, fellowship with other believers when they can, uh, and uh, it's so important that we as Christians uh, uh, steer clear from things that uh, uh, that are ugly and uh, uh, things that uh, God wants us to stay away from. Uh, uh, you know the old saying: "See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil." Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, well, the things we see all the time, the things we hear all the time, uh, will lead us down the wrong path if it's bad stuff but if we see good stuff and we hear good stuff it will lead us up the right path thank God and it'll help us to grow in God's grace and knowledge so uh, you young Christians uh, uh, be careful who you keep company with on a regular basis uh, uh, be careful uh, uh, the, the places you go be careful the things you do because it will have a big influence on your life uh, and your life matters a lot uh, uh, how you're seen by other people uh, I've said many times I'd rather see a sermon than hear one any day, and I've explained that uh, that phrase before, and I'll explain it again today. Uh, uh, it's not that I don't love to hear preaching. I do, uh, uh, but it does me much more good when I see people living the gospel, not just uh, saying it, uh, uh, and that's what I mean by that. Uh, uh, when you see someone really living what the Bible says, it's an inspiration. Uh, it inspires you, and, uh, and you know, the Bible says we're living epistles read and known of men. So a lot of the times, uh, the only Bible uh, that your friends and neighbors and the stranger along the way will ever read in their life is your life. Uh, a lot of times that's true. They're, they're watching you and they see the Christianity in your life or the lack of it. Uh, uh, so it's so very important that we let our light so shine before men that they'll see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven, because truly, uh, uh, thank God, that light uh, uh, can lead them out of darkness and save a soul from a, a hellfire, uh, and it can be a candidate, make them a candidate for heaven. Uh, and isn't that what it's all about? Ain't that what it's all about? Uh, thank God to get souls saved, one to the kingdom of God while there's still time. Uh, uh, that's why Jesus went to the cross and shed his life's blood to get them saved, uh, and how much we need to be careful uh, the company we keep to help get them saved. Uh, thank God and 
that we uh, might be a brighter light and a better example every day that we live uh, here on God's green earth. And uh, our days are always limited to begin with, so we don't want to waste them. Uh, that's why the Bible says to redeem the time, for the days are evil. Uh, and the only way, and I've shared this many times, uh, the only way you can redeem the time is by using it wisely. So use it wisely by the friends that you keep, uh, by the walk that you walk, by the talk that you talk. Uh, uh, hide the Word of God in your heart uh, and be careful uh, uh, where you go and what you do uh, and notice uh, how other people act and uh, don't condone uh, sin. Uh, rather, re, uh, re, reinforce God's ways uh, and uh, Show God's ways by the life that you live and by the walk that you walk. Uh, until the next time, this is Preacher Rick saying, God bless you, beloved. I'm glad you joined us today. Be much in prayer for us. We pray for you. Until next time, we love you.